Alright, I... I wanted to speak on something. Um, such as... Sorry, this is going to be a really controversial and touchy topic, I suppose. And I don't have all of my facts straight, but... I, I have a decent amount of them, okay? So, uh... I mean... I've heard a whole bunch of people, uh, you know, like... Defending, you know, like, gay people and saying it's in the genes or something. And, okay, and I'm actually, I looked into that and I've never actually seen a gene for it. And the brain scans, sure, they're a little bit different, but it's not the same as something such as autism or psychopathy. I mean, brain scans with, uh, you know, being homosexual, you know, it's just a part of the brain, you know. I mean, it doesn't change the way you think entirely. Like psychopathy or autism or Asperger's. I mean, it's not the same. Um, and as someone who's had autism since the age of three, and it's gone lateral into the uh, stages of Asperger's, I would know this, okay? It's, it changes you completely. It changes you completely. You could scan my brain at any given time and it will not pair up with any other thought that anyone's ever had in the same brain scan. And as far as psychopathy, well, I, I've never had my brain scan, but I've looked into that simply because I qualify for a lot of the symptoms. Um, I've never got it tested because, I mean, you know, I have no reason to ruin my image in society or anything. Um, but as far as the gay gene goes, it's never happened. I mean, I just read something about how certain, like how, yes, the view can come from a certain part of lobe in your brain. Alright, well that, I had a theory about how homosexuality starts as of, and it's, it's human psychology, that's all it is. And it makes sense, but it's it's justifiable. I mean, it's ju it justifies being gay and it not being a choice, but it also rules out any chance of it being a gene. I mean, they, they've named the warrior gene and autism as a gene. They have everything for it, you know. Um, we've yet to see something for that, for the gay gene, but here. And actually, I just read this a couple of days ago that some someone studying the uh, oh, sorry hiccuping um, the lobes of the brain, and there was a brain scan, and yes, it does show up differently, but it's not the same. It's not the same as something that is in your genes because it's something it, such as psychopathy and autism. At any given time, you can you can you can scan their brain, and it will not be the same. You know, it's the truth is the brain scans differing from normal humans is you know it's not the same. It's nothing. It's almost like something to trick people into thinking that yes, you know, okay, well now there's definitely gene for it because our brain scans differently. No, the truth is you're just thinking a different thought. And therefore, you know, therefore, it reflects that, you know. The truth is, if it was really part of the gene, it would change every single thought on sexuality and relationships, period. You know, there would no, be no one single brain scan completely similar to a normal person's brain scan, period. If it was truly a gene thing. Okay, this, this actually, this actually is justified by that. Okay? Because the brain lobes, the entire brain, it's all thought, you know, it's, you know, it doesn't matter, you know. And thought can be manipulated, whether on purpose or indirectly or by accident. Okay? You know, it's the same concept as, uh, you know, advertising. You know, you see a thousand ads a day and then you look on the TV and be like, hey, why does this look familiar? Well, you just saw it like 60,000 times scrolling through your internet browser. It's almost a concept like that, but most people don't know what happens, you know. It's basically how you grow up, you know, and it's kind of the same concept as, hey, you know, if 
you know, a man hurts you while you're a child, you know, a lot of times, depending on the circumstances, you're going to be less likely, you're going to be less likely to be in contact with men in the future, you know, and that's, that's been proven in numerous cases of psychology, you know, but it's like that, you know, now, if the first, and there's so many factors, but they all reign completely psychologically possible and positive, and very actually, very actually likely that this would be the case, okay, if, you know, the way you're brought up, and this, this is the biggest thing, you know, if you're brought up in a society that says, hey, okay, you can like another, you can like both genders, you know, that's fine. And I'm not advocating, you know, whether it's right or not, because simply I don't care, you know. You know, my stance is it doesn't matter, you know, I don't, really don't care at all, you know, as long as we don't start seeing infertility and no babies coming out or anything, you know, because that's, that's, a, that's a weight on society. Um, but, I mean, as far as that goes, you know, if you're raised only knowing the touch of a woman, well, you're going to be more fond of a woman's touch. If you're raised by, uh, you know, a single mother or a single father, and they were the first, you know, uh, love, you know, they, they were the first, you know, people you had feelings for in your life, well, then you're going to be, for that period of time, you're going to be more likely on that side, you know, you're going to associate it, hey, this, you know, this is a man, you know. My father's a man, I don't know what a mother's like, therefore, you know, maybe if I go talk to this boy, he'll be like my father or something, you know? And then, you know, there's also... And forgive me, I don't mean to offend anyone if this does, but, because uh, I'm not comparing the two. Um, it's just simply, it can plug in. Such as, um, you know, if you're raped as a child, well, whatever gender you're raped by, I mean, that has a huge impact, you know, and even as an adult, you know, you know, sexuality can change at any given point in time, you know, depending on so many factors, you know, you could, it's kind of a learned trait, you don't learn it directly, but accidentally, you know, there are hundreds of thousands of millions of billions of factors every single day that are influencing your views without you even realizing it. You know, the people you have in your life, the situations, the things around you. It's, you know, that's, that's where I believe gayness comes from. And I personally, you know, it doesn't matter to me, you know. Because I simply, I know it's a reasonable thing to have, you know. It's, it's something that was kind of unavoidable in this day and age, you know. I mean, you can, you know get mad at people, you know, for being gay and all, but the truth is, you know, the people and the technological advancements, everything they see from the moment they can open their eyes and see, feel, touch, hear, and f have any of their senses and even their own thoughts is going to determine what someone's sexuality, what their preferences, what their views, every single thing is determined by this. That's why I don't think it's genetics. That's why I think it's just how society is these days, you know? There's a huge chance, you know? And I mean, I guess, you know, I'm not going to say it's correctable simply because I don't think it's exactly wrong or right, you know? It's, it's just adaptation to this world, you know? But yeah, there are definitely points in time that you could influence your child's sexuality without even realizing it or with doing it intentionally. But... I mean, you know, that's, that's the way it is.